It's my turn now. Padre, a prompt if you would. Tell us about how you wrangled the weather itself to make sure Princess Petunia's 10th birthday party was just perfect. Certainly. It was three days before Princess Petunia's birthday and the skies were dark and grim. I knew that sunshine would be required and so I set forth on a quest. First, I went to the wind and I challenged it to a duel. The winner would get to decide the weather on Princess Petunia's birthday. Yes. You set the challenge and the stakes, so the wind got to announce the task. It was to see who could blow the hardest, which is fitting, since she had a bit of a blowhard. Hmm. Indeed. I went first. I did take a great breath of air into my lungs and belt out a glorious solo. And then it was the wind's turn. The wind blew hard as it could, and I nearly fell off the platform. I had to admit that I had been bested. Hmm? Just as I had planned. And then I went to the rain and issued forth a similar challenge. And then I remembered Remus was in the room and no one is getting wet, no one is pissing, and no one is getting moist. Hmm. We shall keep it clean. Cleaning. Rain can wash things. Thus, the challenge was to clean a wagon. Two wagons identically besmirched in mud were rolled in and I set about scrubbing and scrubbing until my hands were red and raw but the wagon looked as good as new. However, the rain let loose a torrential torrent of rain and not just washed the mud off but some of the paint as well. Thus, it was declared the winner. I congratulated the rain on its victory and set off back towards the castle with a smile on my face and a song in my heart. For you see, everyone knows that you cannot trust a weather forecast. Weather reports can indeed vary in their accuracy. This is because the weather is very poor at remembering what day it is. It's why that even when it's due to be clear and sunny, it can sometimes turn out stormy. <laughs> and so I instructed the castle to lay out the party decorations. The banners and the ribbons, the tables and the chairs, all one day early. Sure enough, within moments, the wind came, and it did howl a gale so fierce it nearly shook some of the windows loose. And the rain unleashed a terrible torrent, so much so that the wells and moat were filled to the brim. However, the next day, the wind was exhausted, and the rain had no more water, and thus the party was a sunny success. <laughs> Bravo! And the princess was a smelly goat! <laughs> What? <laughs> the princess was in fact a smelly goat, the king's favourite goat, which is why he called her Princess Petunia. I did not go through all of that for a goat. Ah, uh, yeah you did, because you showed that even goats get to have lovely perfect birthdays. <laughs> Fine. 